Mike, if you could tell us a little bit about GXC and sure. your involvement. Yeah, GXC started about seven years ago. Uh, University of Texas, a professor and two grad students, uh, started to work with the DOD, the federal government, and patented what's called radio cancellation technology, which allows effectively radios to interoperate together over CB or any other frequency without any backhaul requirement. Yep. Uh, since then, it's all been patented. We've actually commercialized it for the generic 5G market. Oh, wow. Commercial. Yeah. That's great. And so in this particular setup, can you talk about what your component actually is? Yeah, we provide an end-to-end -end component, actually. We mm -hmm. provide the core. Uh, we provide the mesh radio, which mm -hmm. is over in the uh, uh, truck over here. Okay. And we actually integrate with different radios, commercial radios, like BISALs, JMA, Airspan, etc. So it's a complete end-to-end -end solution. We've got our core. It's got uh, NMS capability. Okay. Um, integrated with SAS. So it's a one-stop shop. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Can you talk about any of the customers that you're kind of working with, like DOD or anybody like we that? We are working with DOD, uh, particularly NYWIC, okay. the Navy. Uh, we run the 5G uh, center in Coronado in San Diego. Mm -hmm. We cool. actually demonstrated 5G orbit for Intel uh, infrastructure, and that was in the fall. And we've got 5G installed right now for the U.S. government. Very cool. Yeah. Um, so with uh, with DOD, you mentioned NIWIC, that's the Navy Information Warfare Center? That's correct, yes. Okay, yep. very cool. Yep. Um, how about other applications? Can you talk about how that mesh network could actually be used in other yeah, infrastructures? It's, it's, particular, it's particularly good for outdoors. Mm -hmm. So we've got the Olympic Training Center in San Diego. Wow. It's got one fiber drop. The rest is 155 acres of land. So it's one access point with fiber, and the rest is all mesh. Oh, wow. 155 acres, four nodes. And you can actually provide that full infrastructure. Yes, yep. Wow. Very cool. Yep. And then from an edge compute solution, can you, that, was that a part of that overall solution? Yeah, so we can actually put um, our core on the edge. Mm -hmm. We actually be fine by the customer's firewall, or we can host it through AWS. So it's all Kubernetes-based and cloud-based. Awesome. Yep. And then you've got the engineers that can actually help with some of that design? Yes, and, we, and do. Draw? we do. We do all the radio planning, RF planning, et cetera. Right. Excellent. For different sites. And, um, what type of uh, end users do you see actually using? I mean, you just mentioned there at the uh, the Olympic Center. What yeah. kind of connections would they actually have into that network? We actually support it. I mean, we, we don't do backhaul. Mm -hmm. We support satellite. We support fiber. We support Ethernet. It really doesn't make a difference for us in terms of the backhaul. Okay. We're a pure play in terms of we deliver security, you know, secure systems, spread mobile networks. Uh, we don't do installation work, although we do all the planning. Mm -hmm. We don't do hosting. Uh, we know the systems integration. So we're looking for partners. So we expect over the next year or so, 80% of our revenue will be with partners. Okay. Through partners. Oh. And Dow being one of them. Right. Yep. Okay. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. Well, very cool. Um, so uh, I had a quick question that just escaped me about um, the partnerships. Um, sustainment of that mesh network, would that be something you'd look at your partners to actually help do? Yeah, uh, they term? can. Uh, the good thing about mesh, beyond, beyond backhaul, it's portable. So we're doing a lot of work around smart agriculture, big large farms, uh, mobile tractors, things like that. Um, so they can move They can move around in cows, they can move oh around goodness. wherever they need coverage. And uh, we're also doing a lot of work in industrial warehousing as well because there's a lot of pallets that get delivered to industrial warehouses. They got to be scanned in, then they got to get stand, uh, scanned out. Uh, and so our system can be used uh, to actually use CBRS enabled devices, for example, or C-band devices, where we can support Wi-Fi, IoT sensors, wow. both. Yeah. So you can cover the spectrum pretty yes. much, yeah. right? Yeah, well, that's very cool. Um, well, thank you very much for your time. Thank uh, you. Really appreciate it, and uh, appreciate getting to know more about GXC. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks.